Hi everybody, I'm Ms. Mary. This is Virtual Storytime. This is Midpoint Libraries. Are you ready? Let's do this. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, wave hello. Hi everybody, how you doing? Oh my gosh, this has been the most wonderful autumn, hasn't it? Remember, autumn is another word for fall. So here we are at the end of November, and I was thinking it's a good time to talk about acorns. Mm -hmm, it's true. Now, if you have been watching a lot of these story times, you probably know that acorns are very special to me. So we're going to talk about them today. Our first story is called Acorn Was a Little Wild. <laughs> this one was written for us by Jen Arena and illustrated by Jessica Gibson, and it comes to us from Simon & Schuster Books. <clears throat> Acorn was a wild little thing, pointy on one end and capped on the other. He was the first of his generation to jump off the tree. Don't do that, said Oak. Squirrels will get you. I don't care about squirrels, said Acorn. I just want to roll. And roll he did. He liked the feel of the sun on his face and the wind against his cap. He even took to taunting the squirrels. Na -na 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 -na. Sure enough, just as Oak had warned, a squirrel got him. She scooped Acorn into her paws and scrambled up a tree. Oh no. And Acorn loved it because Acorn was a wild little thing. He loved the thrill of the climb and the kick of bounding from branch to branch. Think about how a squirrel runs, right? They go like that. If you were being carried by a squirrel doing that, oh, that would be, that'd be pretty bouncy. Whee, says Acorn. <clears throat> and then the squirrel took a little nibble of Acorn. Acorn did not love that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute there, buddy. Before the squirrel could nibble anymore, a dog came along. And the dog and the squirrel barked back and forth until the squirrel forgot all about Acorn and dropped him. Now, just a minute. I know that dogs bark, right? <laughs> but squirrels bark, too. Now, a squirrel's bark sounds different than a dog's bark. It sounds more like But that's, you know, that's called barking. Anyway, Acorn bounced away. Oh, and the rush, man! The rush of falling from the tree it was even better than when Acorn had jumped that first time from Oak. Acorn hit the ground and rolled down the hill again. Look! Go boing! No hands. <laughs> he sat in the grass for days and days, and the rain came and pounded on his shell like a good Swedish massage, and Acorn loved that because Acorn was wild that way. Ooh, says Acorn. That feels good. Little to the right. Eventually, another squirrel found Acorn. Let's go, 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 Acorn cheered. I want to feel the wind against my cap. But the squirrel did not carry him up the tree. The squirrel took Acorn and buried him deep in the ground. And that was no fun at all. But after a while, Acorn noticed some cool things were going on down there. The worms were so chill, just wiggling around and tickling him as they passed. <laughs> Acorn kind of laughed when they did, because even underground, Acorn was still a little wild. Acorn had a lot of time to think in the dark. He felt as if he were changing. 
He didn't quite understand, because he'd been the same wild little acorn for so long. But changing was an adventure, so acorn was all in. After a while, acorn found himself stretching and stretching and pushing hard, and then he felt the sun for the first time in ages. Acorn had grown out of his cap and popped right up through the ground. It was so cool. He liked it so much, he put down a few more roots and kept on growing day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Acorn had not lost his wild side. Sometimes he shook his leaves after a summer storm and rumble laughed when the squirrels got all wet. And if a fox peed on his trunk, he just dropped a stick on its noggin. He never told another acorn, don't do that. He always said, go for it. And when the sun was low and the moon was high and the owls hooted in the night, he called all his friends together. And he loved every minute because acorn was an oak, but still a little wild inside. <laughs> Doesn't that look like fun? That is acorn was a little wild. Pretty fun, huh? All right, so as you can see, I have a fancy new flannel. I just made this one just for today, all right? So we've got our tree and our oak leaves and some acorns. Let's count them, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. Five acorns. But look who shows up now. A squirrel. Five little acorns sitting in a tree. Along came the fuzzy squirrel, as hungry as could be. Then the winds blew and rustled all the leaves, and down came an acorn, and Squirrel was mighty pleased. Four little acorns sitting in the tree. Along came Fuzzy Squirrel, as hungry as could be. Then the winds blew and rustled all the leaves, and down came an acorn, and Squirrel was mighty pleased. How many do we have left up here? One, two, three little acorns sitting in a tree. Along came Fuzzy Squirrel, just as hungry as could be. Then the winds blew and rustled all the leaves, and down came an acorn. And Squirrel was mighty pleased. Two little acorns sitting in a tree. Along came Fuzzy Squirrel, just as hungry as could be. Then the winds blew and rustled all the leaves, and down came an acorn, and Squirrel was mighty pleased. You ready? One little acorn sitting in the tree. Along came Fuzzy Squirrel, as hungry as could be. Then the fall winds blew and rustled all the leaves, and down came the acorn, and Squirrel was mighty pleased. So let's see. How many acorns are left in the tree? None. But how many acorns does the squirrel have? One, two, three, four, five. That's a very happy squirrel, huh? All right. So I have another book for us. And this one is a nonfiction book. As a reminder, that means it's a book of true facts. OK? And this book is called because of an acorn. This one was written by Lola and Adam Schaefer and illustrated by Fran Preston Gannon. It comes to us from Scholastic Books. <clears throat> because of an acorn, a tree. Do you remember in the first book, acorn grew those roots and turned into a tree? That's what happened here. Because of an acorn, a tree. 
because of a tree, a bird, there's a nest. Because of a bird, a seed. And because birds like to eat seeds, right? Shake them around. And because of a seed, a flower. Because of a flower, a fruit. Because of a fruit, a chipmunk. Isn't that a cool looking chipmunk? I like the way they have that stripes. Do you see any other animals in that picture? Because of a chipmunk, a snake. Because of a snake, a hawk. Because of a hawk, you see what the hawk did when it landed in the tree? Knocked something loose. Because of a hawk, an acorn. And because of an acorn, a forest. A forest, that's a whole bunch of trees, isn't that neat? And then the back of this book explains how all those things go together. Now, I'm not gonna read all that, but I'm gonna give it to you, you know, in easier words. One thing leads to another, right? An acorn grows into a tree. The tree makes a house for the bird. The bird family grows up, they eat stuff, they, oh, they find some seeds, they eat those seeds, they knock some of the seeds onto the ground, the seeds grow into a flower, the flower makes fruit, somebody eats the fruit, somebody else comes along, and on and on and on, and it just all goes in a big cycle. The circle of life. Pretty cool, huh? All right, that's enough heavy knowledge for today. So, <laughs> so here we are, we're at the end of November. I think we probably just spent a whole lot of time saying thank you to people. Mm -hmm. That's a great thing to do. So maybe now is a good time to look around at the world and see um, how one thing leads to another, right? Because of an acorn, this happened and that happened and all kinds of things. So um, maybe it's a good time to look at how one thing leads to another and how, um, I don't know, how your day goes. Right? You start in the morning and you eat breakfast and then you do all your stuff you're going to do during the day. You uh, maybe play some games, read some books, you have lunch, you go someplace fun, maybe the library, hint, hint. Um, you do all kinds of things and then tomorrow you do it again. Day after day, week after week, year after year, and next thing you know, you're all grown up. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me for stories and songs today. I have so much fun reading stories with you. I hope you enjoy it too. All right, let's sing our goodbye song. Do you remember? We've been doing it for a while. I'll bet you do now. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Goodbye, everybody.